All right, this is the seventh and last video of the Adventures in CRE Hotel Acquisition Model um, walkthrough. And in this last video, we are going to go over the last tab, which is the penetration analysis tab. So in this tab, um, what you'll do is you'll use data from a third party source um, that collects information on hotels pretty much in every market. Um, so you can contact one of these groups and they will give you um, you know, data based on your competitive set. So in our example, we have um, five hotels that match our hotel. Um, we have the historical um, rooms that the hotel has. So sometimes if a, you know, one of these hotels could have a, a renovation or they could um, have an, you know, an addition put onto the hotel where they, their rooms would change or they might um, convert regular rooms into suites and, and reduce room count. So um, you want to look at the historical and projected future um, room counts for each hotel. So you'll put in your um, hotel comps in this top section. And this will give us our total rooms. And then we have our days of the year. Um, and then we get our total available rooms in row 19. So with that, um, we look at our subject property, which is our current property in the model. And this is being fed through um, from the other tabs. So we have our 215 rooms. Um, we have our total available rooms. And then we're looking at what percent of the available inventory is, is our hotel. So we are 17.1% of the available inventory. All right, so now we're going to look at the properties, um, the market versus the property occupancy and how our property does in comparison. And, you know, I'm looking at this market occupancy, and this is um, – pretty high for almost any market so just you know while we're here let's just change this we'll make it still a pretty um, hot market but let's say our, our report is giving us different numbers that are more in line with um, you know a traditionally strong market let's just put it that way um, and then let's do 77 and let's just for this say 77 all all right, so we still have a, a very hot hotel market, but it's more in the in the realm of a potential reality. Um, so moving on, we have our um, projected occupancy for our hotel at 70% uh, in year one, and then you see it reduces, and then um, it, it grows, and we're projecting a very strong occupancy rate going forward based on how um, – you know, this investor is trying to reposition the property. So um, with that in mind, we have our occupied rooms per year. Um, and then you see our penetration rate. Now, we talked about this in the first video, but basically what this is is the market is at 100%. And so if your, property, if your property's penetration rate is lower than 100%, that means you're losing out compared to the rest of the market. You're, you're below um, the average. So in this example, we're at 93.3% um, of occupancy penetration, and so we are below. And so going forward, it looks like we, we dip a little bit more, and you know, based on our hypothetical scenario, this makes sense considering you know, maybe we're doing some sort of major um, you know, capital improvement or repositioning in year two. So um, I'm assuming that's what's going on here, why we're having uh, – this occupancy drop, and then you start to see this hotel's penetration rate um, skyrocket. So I guess our investors believe in a very strong story here, which will which will leave our hotel pretty much full um, for the whole period. So you know whether you believe this as a, a third party looking to invest in this deal or not, it remains to be seen. But that's what this model is telling us. Um, so that's penetration rate for occupancy. And now we look at our ADR. Um, and we, so we get our historical um, market ADR, which is based on our competitive set. Um, this will show the percent change. And then we have the properties projected ADR and the percent change. And here you see the properties uh, penetration rate against the ADR. So this property is consistently outperforming on an ADR basis. Um, and now we're moving to the bottom where we get um, the market versus the property rev par. Um, and so this is, you know, the revenue per available room. And so, um, you know, the, the formula for that is the ADR multiplied by the occupancy. And so when you compare this property 
to the competitive set, um, you'll see that in years one and two, it's underperforming. And then as it goes forward, it's um, outperforming by a fairly significant margin. And then all of these high-level results, basically the bottom rows of, of these three sections, um, is brought over into the summary section. And you see that we have them uh, reported right here. All right, and that is it. That is the complete rundown of how this model works. Um, I hope you made it through to this final video, and I hope you find that this model is helpful to you. And thanks for watching.